So, all right, first of all, uh, just very thankful to coach these young men and and to be here at K-State with the best fans in the country. I don't know if television did it justice, but our fans were unbelievable, and I'm so thankful for them. Uh, you know, I, we, I didn't do a very good job. I did a terrible job in the first half in putting a game plan together, and it didn't give us a chance to win in the first half. Thankful for my staff because we were able to make adjustments at halftime. And then the second half, we saw the cats. We were uh, more aggressive getting to the paint. We owned the offensive glass, and it gave us a chance give us a chance to win the game. Uh, but because of the game plan that I put together in the first half, it uh, didn't give us a chance to win the game. So that first half is bad on me. I take all the blame for that. The second half, those are the cats, and we're, we're going we're gonna to grow from here. And uh, just very, very thankful uh, for the toughness, character, and togetherness uh, grittiness of our, our young men. Thank you, Coach. Uh, we'll start with questions. Uh, first question to Kellis Robinette. Sorry, I was muted there for a second, too. Um, Jerome, did you notice any difference out of Nigel Pack? I know you didn't coach him, but did he look any different from the player you saw a couple years ago with the Wildcats? Oh, yeah, he, he's, he's grown some. Um, taller shoulders wider filled out they've done a great job there with him uh strength and conditioning wise and uh i mean he was always a really good player and you know um he i mean I, he looked every bit of six one and, and you know just uh, he was terrific in the first half like he, he was really really good and i thought um you know we did a better job on him in the second half but uh first half he was he was pretty special and this is a couple of games when you guys have been down the season, no quit to keep fighting back. What do you, what do you like about you guys in that regard? Yeah. I mean, we got a tough together group that's um, learning and growing every day and they, they got no quit in them. They're high character guys and um, you know, they, they, they can make adjustments on the fly. And, and so um, I, I'm, I'm thankful for the opportunity to coach them and, and I'm going to do a better job of putting them in better position so that we don't get down so big in the first half. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, next question to Tim Everson. Coach Kim exploded in the second half. He had 28 points. It's a, I think it's another career high for him. Is he just slowly and slowly just kind of showing what 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 that potential could be as, as the season goes on? Yeah, yeah, no, Cam. I mean, his hard work is paying off, and uh, I, I loved his aggressiveness in the second half. I thought in the first half he allowed his offense to affect his defense. And in the second half, it gave us a more complete game. And, and the, the team did a good job of setting screens for him and, and getting him open and, and putting him in position. And, and he went out there and got it done. So I was very, very proud of our guys and Cam. And then kind of what what's the biggest regret that you have from the original game plan as far as kind yeah, of what I, would we, we should have We should have denied uh, pack the ball the, the whole time, the whole game, and never let him get going, um, you know, or, like, like we did in the second half. And, you know, the problem is you do that in the first half, they might make an adjustment in the second half. And so that's why you make those kind of adjustments at halftime. But as good of a player as he was, it was just a bad decision on my part. And then as far as just this whole trip, how, how beneficial do you think that, that this has been for your guys to kind of play these these two caliber of opponents in Providence and, and Miami? Oh, this, this was huge for us. I mean, we found out against Providence that uh, they, they can play in a high major game, 36 minutes. And, you know, and, and then tonight, you know, today in this game, we found out Buddy Rich, you know, can, <laughs> can, can play in this this time. And, and so what we need is the, the, that type of consistent effort to, to show at practice, you know, so they show what they can do. Let's not, you know, I, I don't believe in gamers. Uh, I believe in, you know, every day, every play guys. And, and that's what we want to develop here in the, uh, what our program's going to stand on. And and so, yeah, we've seen growth, like, from multiple guys, man. And and you have to go through these fires. You know, champions get punched, too, right? And uh, the things can you take a punch and keep moving forward, you know? And uh, I thought we took some punches and people, you know, I mean, you'd expect a, a team down 20 to get knocked out, but we didn't, you know, and we kept fighting. And uh, and so that, that, that that's, that, that's, the, that's the character of our team. I'm very, very, very proud of them in the second half. Thanks, Coach. Have a safe trip home. Thank you. Uh, next question to Kevin Felder. 
Coach, uh, you know, you guys start off 0 for 11 from three. What was sort of the biggest reason as to why you guys start off so slow from the from beyond the arc? Well, in the first half, we took 15. Half of our shots were threes, and they weren't um, paint touch threes, right? They, 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 they want you to shoot the ball fast, you know, and um, – and we just we they gave us the open look and you know semi contested stuff. Some of them were pretty good looks, but that's we played right into their hands with the pace of the game, and didn't make them guard long enough in the first half. And and I again I take full responsibility for that, right? And uh, in the second half when we made the ball go side to side and made them guard and got paint touches and got the defense shrunk, then we started making some shots. And then Arthur Kaluma, uh, you know, impressed at points today. Sort of what – how do you think he's grown since he's gotten here? And then today, what do you think he did well? Well, at halftime, our three fours and fives had zero offensive rebounds, and we ended up with nine for the game. And so we challenged them, and Art had five of those. And and his willingness to go make the gritty tough plays, that that that's something that I think is going to help him and us moving forward. Um, Art's a really good player, man, and when he's locked in on both ends of the floor, um, he 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 could be a, a an all conference guy for us, and uh, and so that's that that's what I he he's shown glimpses of it, you know, and and I just want we're gonna see that consistency grow in him because uh, I mean he wants to win, and you, you love that about him. Thank you, coach. Uh, next question to Christopher Stock. Hey, Coach, I was curious if you could explain maybe what makes Miami a tough team to go up against to guard in particular. Uh, they put five guys out there that can uh, triple pass, shoot, um, shoot it really well. And so you have to guard all five guys. And um, they're a veteran team, so they understand their role. And, uh, you know, and they're very unselfish. Like they're, they're a really good passing team. Um, and you know, especially on the catch, they they catch and they make the next play um, very, very quickly. And the ball travels faster in the air than it does on dribbles. And our goal was to pause them and to make them have to be dribblers. And uh, we weren't able to do that in the first half. And so um, they're, 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 I mean, that veteran group, they know what they're doing. They don't get rattled. Um, there's a reason why, I mean, they were down, what, I think 13 to Texas in the NCAA tournament last year. And just stayed together and when you have that that championship pedigree you know getting to the final four and stuff you know they it just carries over you've been in those moments before and, and so um just a really good team any other questions for coach okay thank you coach appreciate it oh, no real quick real quick sorry oh, sorry sorry, sorry. Oh, real sorry. Quick. very sorry um I, I just wanted to check on what will day day be available when you guys are back on on wednesday yes yeah they they cool. uh you know ncaa rule referees game at a fight you know you have to miss one game and he was he was missed but it's going to be a great learning experience for him and uh and for us and let me just tell you with that situation this is the worst thing this kid ever does in his life he's gonna live a terrific life man and he's an unbelievable kid and it was out of character um but you know i'm thankful that i get an opportunity to help him uh learn through this to love him through these consequences and he's gonna come out on the other side and, and be just 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 even better than he was before thank you thank you okay coach no players right now